As we continue our study of connective tissue, uh, we will uh, now look at hyaline cartilage. Cartilage has a, uh, a matrix, a ground substance, which is homogeneous. That is, it, it, you can't see the fibers. Connective tissue has fibers, uh, ground substance, and cells. The fibers uh, are uh, indivisible, being located in this homogeneous a ground substance we called ground glass in appearance because it's sort of bluish, looks like ground glass. The, uh, this specimen is taken from the uh, trachea. Here's the outer wall of the trachea. This is connective tissue extending to the basement membrane here and then the pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium on the inner surface of the trachea and this in the connective tissue is this support hyaline cartilage. The cartilage has a growth layer on the outside where growth begins. This is the uh, perichondrium, and the perichondrium is this eosinophilic or pink layer on either side. If we look at the perichondrium uh, under high power, we see that it has an outer fibrous layer, and then this inner cellular layer where these hyaline cartilage cells called chondroblasts are beginning to develop. Uh, as they mature, there's usually two of them in a, a little compartment in the ground substance, and this is called a lacuna. The white space is a lacuna, and in that space are the two nuclei of this paired chondrocyte. So as we go into the uh, center of the cartilage, we see the lacuna with a chondrocyte or adult cartilage cell. This is characteristic of hyaline cartilage. And on the opposite surface, the fibrous perichondrium again with the chondroblasts on the periphery and then the adult chondrocytes located in the ground substance of hyaline cartilage.